Hey everybody, Justin here inside this red Hyundai. I'm going to install a U-Lite mini visor bar. So included with the bar is the U-Lite bar, of course. Two sets of large brackets. You have four U brackets, the instruction manual, and two different sets of gaskets, which we'll use at the end. So let's go ahead and get started and put this bad boy up. So we're gonna be using the large brackets. You're gonna to wanna to take the open end and that's gonna slide up around the visor post and then the square hole is gonna slide up around the other side. Now if you see here, I can't get it over. So these brackets are just sheet metal and they can easily be bent. I'm gonna use my pliers here and just bend about three quarters of an inch here on the end. And I'll do the same for this other fork. fits nicely. Next, in this car, it has a screw here, so I'm gonna take that screw off. All right, so I got my sun visor out, but there's this plastic clip here that's gonna stop my bracket from sliding through, so I'm actually gonna take some sheet metal shears and just trim a little piece off of the end here. Let's do about right here. So again, these are sheet metal, so sheet metal shears will work perfectly. Snip it right off. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and take out this side now. I'm just gonna, just gonna loosen this side a little bit just so I have enough of a lip to get to my bracket. Cool, that's that. And that's this side. Uh, the last thing I need to do is just put a hole there for my screw to go back in. Cool, it's a little indentation. Okay, so let me just screw my visor back together. There we go. Excellent. So next, I'll take the visor bar and see if we got the right angle up here. I'll just bend these a little bit to get the angle good. Actually, yeah, so actually I'll just do it by hand. It's like that. Don't even need the pliers. Just need some muscle. All right, once the angle's correct, we're all good. I'm gonna grab the nut from our hardware bag, be a eight millimeter socket. Just gonna screw that into the sliding channel. Up. Be careful not to over tighten these. You can also put a little bit of Loctite on there if you have an issue with them loosening up from the road vibration. Now that's all flush, our last step will be to take our gasket. I'll stick that onto the end. If we're going to use it, not every vehicle will need it. This one has a little bit of a gap, so we're going to go ahead and use it. And I'm just going to trim a little piece on the end. There, let's make a little mark. Take this back off. There is metal inside of these, so you will need to use some metal shears to cut that. Gonna tighten this up once more. That's in place. That's it. Repeat that same step for the other side. You are ready to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>